What's up, VC? Bobby here, um, responding to Diana's Digging in the Crates uh, 400 plus subscriber contest. Congratulations, Diana. Very well done. Um, it doesn't surprise me. I'm not even going to play up the whole, you know, for a girl angle because really for anybody, she's got one of the best record collections I've ever seen. Every video introduces me to tons of stuff. So it's amazing. Way to go. If you're not subscribed to her, make sure you do. Um, truth be told, I'm feeling a little under the weather today. I'm wearing a toque just because it's weird and we're embracing the weirdness because uh, it's actually not that cold out today. Um, but I just thought, hey, I'll uh, contribute to this contest really quickly. It's not going to be a long video. But uh, basically, Diane asked for three... Um, weird album covers and then three weird song titles. So here's what I got uh, in the collection for you. Let's start with the weird album covers. So the first one I'm going to show you is Bread, Love and Cha 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 by Xavier Cougat and his orchestra. And um, there's the album cover right there. And uh, you know what? It, this is probably weird to many of you, but it doesn't. It's not that weird to me, and I'll tell you why. Uh, as I mentioned a few videos back, my doctor is uh, insisting that I stay away from carbs, so I haven't eaten bread for I don't know how long, uh, for whatever three weeks or whatever it is. And uh, quite frankly, if I was to be tempted by a Rita Hayworth look-alike or a um, you know giant uh, panini. Um, I'm not going to lie, like Mr. Cougat here, I'm probably embracing the giant panini. That's the way I miss bread so much. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. So, uh, yeah, Bread, Love, and Cha-Cha-Cha, Xavier Cougat and his orchestra. So that's weird album cover number one. While we're talking about in inappropriate temptations, um, uh, potentially unhealthy temptations, Jimmy Smith, Wes Montgomery, two of the greatest jazz artists of all time, they joined forces, called themselves the Dynamic Duo, and this is the album cover that they chose to go with. Um, yeah, they are enjoying that sandwich there. And uh, even, the <laughs> even the way their arms are kind of intermingled there while they're chomping on their uh, their little sandwiches there. Yeah, that's... Uh, come for the album cover, stay for the music. So there you go. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then album number three, weird album cover number three, comes from a uh, Canadian progressive rock band from the 70s. Um, they're a band that doesn't get a lot of respect these days. I don't know why. I like them. Um, they're they're somewhat Zappa esque, I guess you could say, um, but it is Max Webster, and this is their debut album. And uh, so I'll explain to you what's going on here. If you look at the the album cover there, um, yeah, so you've got these uh, stretchy box faces and uh, whatever Trump's toupee there. Um, on a conveyor belt. Now, because the faces are stretched, they had to add an extra eye and an extra nose um, to the faces so that you can kind of balance out the uh, orifice to skin uh, ratio there. Um, and, and I assume they're going into the conveyor belt. Uh, the conveyor belt is kind of leading into sort of a, a furnace type situation because you'll notice these are up pretty high and you got the little fire bell going there just in case um, but it must be really hot because this guy here is not happy look at that face he is not happy to be going into that thing maybe it's because he realizes that the whole furnace is actually like it's a face so it's actually kind of like a like a like a furnace monster of sorts that's that's anyways any questions you have about this cover and I'm sure there are many can all be explained on the back cover because um, basically they're pouring gasoline into into stretchy faces head so that probably clears up any questions that you may have on I don't under I don't why I don't I don't I Max Webster Here's an honorable mention, too, because I thought comedy records are probably cheating, but this is, I have all of Steve Martin's albums, and he recorded one album called the Steve Martin Brothers, and so one side of the album was uh, comedy, uh, like stand-up comedy, and the other side was some pretty uh, phenomenal banjo playing, actually, and so I always liked the cover of this album, the Steve Martin Brothers, so you have the serious banjo playing Steve on this side, and then Steve Martin, the wild and crazy guy on this side.
That's a wonderfully weird cover, cover as well. But comedy records, I think, are cheating, so that doesn't count. So there we go. Three uh, weird covers. Now let's do three weird song titles. Well, the first one that came to mind was Pink Floyd on the album Amagama. And it is the song, Several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave and grooving with a pict. The name of that song, Several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave and grooving with a pict. I don't know what a pict is, but I would imagine that if a group of small furry animals ever did choose to gather together in a cave and groove together with a pict, I would imagine it would sound exactly like that song. Several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave and grooving with a pict. Pink Floyd. All right, I've also got English band The Beautiful South, their debut album, Welcome to the Beautiful South. Um, they had a hit song on here called Song for Whoever, which is kind of a funny title already, but the album closes with a song called uh, I Love You, But You're Boring. I Love You, But You're Boring. That's kind of a funny song title. Isn't it romantic? And then, uh, for my third weird song title, well, I thought I could go with, um, you know, Zappa seemed like an obvious choice, but I know a lot of people already went with Zappa. There's so many other artists, but, you know, another surefire artist is They Might Be Giants. And um, I know uh, Sequoia Flame, I think it was Sequoia Flame, uh, featured a They Might Be Giants album for his weird album covers. Uh, he picked the cover of the Else album. Well, this here, this is their uh, their third album, but their first major label release. It's called Flood. And, um, you know, I could have picked the song Birdhouse in Your Soul. Uh, I could have picked Your Racist Friend. I could have picked Someone Keeps Moving My Chair. That's a great song title. But no, you know what? I think I'm going to go with Sapphire Bullets of Pure Love. They might be giants. Sapphire Bullets of Pure Love. So there you have it. Thanks again. Congratulations, uh, digging in the crates for all your subscribers. I know you'll have many more. If you haven't, if you're not subscribing to her yet, do so. If you really like uh, hearing some new and interesting music recommendations, that's the pay place to go. And uh, I'm gonna go take a nap. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.